Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back, man. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man. And today, we're going to continue to stop the lies. We're going to continue to stop the, the rewriting of history that people try to do all the time now these days. We're going to stop this nonsense. You know what I'm here to do, guys. Celebrate Michael Jordan, the 80s and the 90s NBA, man. And I want to thank you guys for all your love, for subscribing, for watching my videos, man. I appreciate it, guys. It really means a lot to me, man. In this video, we're going to talk about something I know you guys have heard. And it's the fact that people now try to say that Michael Jordan's legacy was saved by Steve Kerr and John Paxson, right? The, the shots that John Paxson and Steve Kerr hit in the NBA Finals somehow now that saved Michael Jordan's legacy somehow. We're going to talk about that. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Listen to the information, guys. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, I know you have probably heard this same thing now, right? Because this wasn't going on when we were growing up, guys. This wasn't going, going on 20 years ago. This started maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. Six, seven years ago, whatever it was, people started to try to make up this narrative, this false narrative, that somehow Michael Jordan's legacy was saved by guys like John Paxson and Steve Kerr because they hit big shots in the NBA Finals during the Bulls' uh, two three-peats. People trying to say that now. <laughs> These guys saved Michael Jordan somehow. I never heard that when I was growing up. No one ever said that at the time when these guys made those shots. No one was saying that the Bulls were saved or that Michael Jordan was saved. None of that was going on, guys. But now all these years later, people, you know, a certain fan base is trying to relate Steve Kerr and John Paxson shots to who, guys? To Ray Allen and Kyrie Irving shots. They're trying to compare these two and try to make it seem as if they're, they're equal. When anybody that clearly knows basketball and the history of the game, right, understands that those two shots were not the same as Kyrie Irving's shot or a Ray Allen shot, guys, right? So first off the top, we must understand that John Paxson's shot in 1993 was not in a game seven. That's what we must understand at the top. So you can't be saved or quote unquote saved if it wasn't a game seven and your backs weren't up against the wall. Right? They weren't facing elimination, the Chicago Bulls. They were winning three games to two when John Paxson hits that shot to win the game. However, another aspect we must remember about the 93 series, the 93 finals. Number one, Michael Jordan averaged 41 points a game. You cannot tell me that somebody was saved by one jump shot in a non-elimination game when the man averaged 41 points a game. Right, that's number one. Number two, we must remember, in the fourth quarter of game six of the 93 finals, the Bulls scored a total of 12 points, guys. That's right, 12 points in that fourth quarter. Michael Jordan scored nine of them, guys. That's right, nine of the 12 points in the fourth quarter, Michael Jordan scored. Which means, if you do the math, right, and you understand what happens, that means that all the points leading to John Paxson's shot were scored by Michael Jordan, guys. That's right. That means that nobody else scored a single point up until the last seconds of the fourth quarter. So what does that mean? That means that if it wasn't for Michael Jordan scoring, keeping the Bulls in the game, then John Paxson's shot means nothing, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. They're down by 10 plus points at that point if Michael Jordan does not keep the Bulls afloat in the fourth quarter when no one else could score but him. Right? So when we think about all those aspects of the 93 uh, Game 6, 93 Finals, there's no way that you can actually say, right, accurately, truthfully, that Michael Jordan was quote-unquote saved by John Paxson's shot. The Bulls were saved by John Paxson's shot. Absolutely not. John Paxson hit a big shot at a key moment. We will take nothing away from John Paxson, guys. But that did not save Michael Jordan's legacy. It did not save the Bulls. If John Paxson misses that shot, the Bulls have a chance for an offensive rebound. If John Paxson misses that shot, the Bulls can still go to a game seven. It does not end there. Right? It's easy to understand. It's not easy to understand when we think about these things. Another thing that we must think about now is it pertains to Steve Kerr. Because this is a shot that people like to talk about. Steve Kerr hitting the shot in the 1997 uh, NBA Finals game six. 
They like to talk about Steve Kerr, right? They, they like to pump Steve Kerr up over the last several years, pumping him up as if he was his most integral part, or he was like the third wheel of the Chicago Bulls, or he was like the fourth wheel or the fifth best player on the Chicago Bulls in that second three-peat. Steve Kerr was way down the line, guys, behind guys like Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Tony Kukos, Ron Harper. These guys were more impactful to the Bulls' second three-peat. Not Steve Kerr. That's number one. Number two, when we talk about that shot that Steve Kerr hit, once again, we must remember something. This was a game six, not a game seven. The Bulls were not facing elimination. So no, there's no way you can say Michael Jordan was quote-unquote saved. He did not get saved from anything. What, he saved him from a game seven? Come on, guys. Another thing we must think about in that game six, once again, I believe Michael Jordan scored 39 points in that game, guys. Come on, man, 39 points. He scored 10 points in the fourth quarter, guys, leading the Bulls in the fourth quarter offensively as usual. As a matter of fact, if I remember correctly, in that game six, guys, I believe Michael Jordan scored the final six points for the Bulls. And I believe the score was, it was 86 to 83, right, at the end of the game. And Byron Russell hit a three-pointer to tie the game in 86, guys. But Michael Jordan scored the last three baskets for the Bulls at the end of that fourth quarter before Steve Kerr shot. So once again, without Michael Jordan keeping the Bulls close, keeping them within striking distance, Steve Kerr's shot means nothing because they would have been down by five or six points at that point. Maybe even more. So we, we must remember that. Also, another thing we must remember when it comes to the Steve Kerr shot, the Bulls called a timeout after Byron Russell hit that three to tie the game, right? I believe there was 20 seconds left or something like that, whatever it was. They called a timeout. And in the timeout, you heard Michael Jordan tell Steve Kerr, I'm coming to you if they double. I'm coming to you. Be ready. You know why Steve Kerr was ready, guys? You know why? It was from the years and it was from the practices with Michael Jordan. That's what it was from. Being in practice with Michael Jordan, right? We all heard about Steve Kerr and Michael Jordan coming to blows in practice. But the intensity, the amount of, of pressure that Michael Jordan put on you in practice, these guys were prepared. He had them prepared mentally. So Steve Kerr could stand up and hit a shot. He told them, I'm coming to you if you're open. They double team me. And guess what, guys? That was Michael Jordan's IQ, understanding what the Utah Jazz were probably going to do, and it happened, and Michael Jordan did what he said he was going to do. He made the right play at the right time because the defense dictated that. We all know Michael Jordan would have taken that last shot if they did not double. But he did the right thing, and he believed in Steve Kerr, and Steve Kerr had the confidence and the mental toughness to step into that shot because guys like a Michael Jordan, the believing in you will give you the confidence. You guys know the deal, man. So these are things that we must think about when people say that Michael Jordan was quote unquote saved by guys like Steve Kerr, by guys like John Paxson shots at the end of these finals games. If you look at the game, guys, you, you look into the details. There was no saving here. Guys made big shots at big moments. They stepped up. But they did not save the Bulls. The Bulls were never facing elimination, right? Their backs weren't against the wall. And I told you about, and I told you guys about these shots. We think about the 93 shot with, with Paxson, right? Michael Jordan taking the inbounds. Michael Jordan was the decoy there. The Bulls did not need a three-point shot. Michael Jordan could have, if he wanted to, just dribbled the ball down the entire length of the court and tried to force up a shot or take it on his own. But what did he do? He inbounded the ball, or he took the inbounds pass, dribbled down the court, whipped the pass to Scottie Pippen, who in turn whipped the pass to Horace Grant, who in turn kicked out to, Steve, to, to John Paxson for the open jumper. It was the ball movement, the team ball movement that set that shot up. Right? It wasn't a broken play. It wasn't Michael Jordan forcing a shot, missing it, someone getting the rebound, kicking it out to Paxson, and him hitting a shot. That's not how it went down. Right? Well, was Michael Jordan standing in the corner when, when, when Steve Kerr made that jump shot? Was he just standing in the corner doing nothing? And Steve Kerr just dribbled the ball one-on-one -on -one and made a basket? That's not what happened. Did John Paskin do that? No. 
I don't want this video to go too long, guys. But you know what the deal, man? It's crazy when people try to say these guys saved Michael Jordan's legacy with these jumpers. These guys made big plays. They stepped up and made a big shot at a big moment. They didn't save Michael Jordan. They contributed to the team. When we think about John Paxson and Steve Kerr, I'm going to leave it at this, guys. I've told you guys in the past that Michael Jordan raised his teammates' level, right? He raised their confidence in practice so that they could step up in moments like that. That's why someone like a John Paxson could step into that shot with confidence. That's why someone like a Steve Kerr could step into that shot with confidence. Because Michael Jordan believed in them. Right? The team believed in these guys. All those practices, all that hard work, that's when it paid off. That's why these guys were prepared on the court and mentally ready. Yeah, they maybe they didn't put up big numbers, these guys. I've told you, Michael Jordan didn't play with no great offensive players and guys that could drop 30 and 40 every night. Guys that had all these crazy kinds of quote-unquote skills and things like that. But what Michael Jordan had was guys that were mentally tough, Right? They were always ready. They didn't fold up when it mattered most. That's why he had the confidence in these guys. So shout out to Michael Jordan. Shout out to the Chicago Bulls. Shout out to Steve Kerr for making that shot. Shout out to John Paxson, man. These guys with the confidence to step into those shots. They didn't save Michael Jordan. And if you ask them, they know they didn't save Michael Jordan. They made big shots at big moments to help the team. He was never saved, guys. You know the deal, man. You know who's making these rumors up, these stories up about people being saved. You know the deal, guys. I know the deal. I'll catch you guys on the next one.